All right, so welcome back to our second Z score video. So it looks the same, but we're gonna have a couple of different questions this time. They're gonna be a little bit harder. So again, Z score formula, we have our tables, and then always drawing a little picture is pretty helpful. So anyway, I'll look at the questions. Um, so again, it's the same numbers, so it's gonna be the height of adult Irish males, the mean is 176.3, and the standard deviation is 7.1 centimeters. Okay, new questions are, what percentage will be below 165 centimeters? And then what percentage will be between 170 centimeters and 180 centimeters? Right, so those are the two questions we have to answer. So I guess we'll start with number three. So we'll say number three below 165. So again, the first thing is we want to find the Z score for 165. So it's going to be 165 minus 176.3 all divided by 7.1. And that will give us a Z score of minus 1.59 minus 1.59 okay so next i'm going to draw a little um a little bell curve so this is going to be our zero and then we're going to have maybe here minus 1.59 and we're trying to find this area here below minus 1.59 so the problem is with our um our tables it doesn't go below zero there's no minuses it only goes to zero and we have to figure the rest out ourselves. What we do know is that it's symmetrical, so we can use that to solve this question basically. So if I draw another little one on this side, and I use red, if we have plus 1.59, okay, we have our red here, and we'll have our blue above 1.59. Blue here. So the blue on this side here is gonna be the same as the blue on this side because it's symmetrical. So below minus 1.59 is the same as above 1.59. And we can get the red quite easily, okay? So we can find the red. So if we go P of Z is less than 1.59, we can find that answer easily just by looking at the tables. So we're gonna to go to 1.5 here on the left-hand side. And then we're going to go all the way across to 9. So here we have 1.59 is going to be uh, 9441. Okay, so I'll go down, go back to orange, and we're going to have 0 0.9441. So that means our blue bit here is just going to be, I'll do it in blue, is going to be 1 minus 0 0.9441 is going to be equal to 0 0.0559. And that is the percentage that will be below 165 centimeters. Okay, so that's our answer. Actually, if, if we want to write that as a percentage, it should be 5.59%, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's the answer anyway. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, so again, it's always just that it's symmetrical. So you kind of have to draw a few pictures, kind of work it out in your head, uh, and you can find the right answer. So now we'll try part four. So part four is how many are between 170 and 180 centimeters. So this one's a little bit trickier, but again, the first thing we're gonna be doing is just getting the Z scores for each. Um, 176.3 divided by 7.1 is equal to, and then for 180 as well, 180 minus 176.3 divided by 7.1. Uh, so the Z scores are minus 0.89, and plus 0 0.52 okay so there's decimal points there so if we were to draw this on a normal curve and um, i'll go purple okay we want to get between minus 0 0.89 and 0 0.52 so we're trying to get this shaded bit here so this this causes, it's just a little bit uh, more difficult. We have to do one or two different calculations to figure it out. Um, so first I'll just write out how um, how that would look. So it's gonna be zero, p probability of zero minus eight, nine, less than Z, less than 0 0.52. Like I said, I'm just gonna write it in that form because that's kind of what they might ask in the, in the exam. Uh, it's just so you're familiar with it. But anyway, um, what we're gonna do to, uh, to solve it is, I'm just gonna quickly get rid of this bell curve. I'm gonna draw a new one. 
Okay, so again, we're gonna have 0 0.52 here, okay? And we can easily calculate, and we did for the first question, what is the um, the area below 0 0.52, yeah? But that's not all we wanna do, because we also want to know about um, what's between that and minus 0 0.89, okay? So we can easily calculate what's below 0 0.52. We can also calculate what's below 0 0.89, which I'm coloring in an orange now. So if we take away everything that's below 0 0.52, and then uh, we take away what's below minus 0 0.89, we should be left with the purple bit in the middle, which is what we're trying to find, all right? So scroll down, oh, there's no space, I have to go across. So as long as I can see that. So I'll write it in red here. So we're gonna have P of the probability of Z being less than 0 0.52. Um, and we did that in the first question, so I'll just get the number again. And that number is 0. Nope, 0 0.6985. And um, so that's from the first question. And now we need to find the probability of Z being less than minus 0 0.89, um, which we're just gonna have to do one or two steps. So remember, that's it's sort of the same thing as we did up here because we had to get something the percentage of what's below 165 and um, so we have to go through the same procedure so I'll just do that really quickly and go down so draw a picture is the best thing to do and then we have to get what's and this here is going to be one minus the probability of Z being less than the plus 0 0.89 so again, that's gonna be our, um, if we calculate this purple bit here, that's gonna be one minus um, all of this black bit here that I'm kind of coloring in a purple. Um, anyway, you guys get the idea because we did it in the last one. So if I look up to find P of zero of less than 0 0.89, um, 0 0.89, I have to go across to here. We have 0 0.8 on this side. And then we go all the way across to nine. We're gonna find that it's 8.133. So it's gonna be all the way back down here. It's gonna be one minus 0 0.8333. Sorry, it's 0 0.81333. Okay, and that answer will give us 0 0.183. 6, 7. Okay, so 0 0.1867, that's the area, um, this blue area here, all right? Okay, so this is getting a little bit messy, sorry about that, um, but if we go back across, the reason we were doing this is we're trying to find, if we look at this, this one here in the middle, we're trying to find the area below 0 0.52, which we got is 0 0.6985 here in the, here in the red. Um, and then we want to take away this orange bit here, which is 0 0.1867, and then we'll be left with this purple bit in the middle, which I'm now coloring in a little bit yellow, um, and that's going to be our answer, the people that are between 170 centimeters and 180 centimeters. So I'll just draw a box around here. Um, yeah, so normally you should never lay stuff out as messily as this, but it just sort of, I guess, happened. So 0 0.6985 minus... Uh, 0 0.1867 uh, and that answer will give us 0 0.5118 or 51.18 percent so that's the amount of people that are between 170 centimeters and 180 centimeters uh, so hopefully that all made sense those sort of four questions we covered there so and uh, the first video we did the first two and the second video we did three and four and um, if you know how to do those four questions you'll know how to do the majority of the z score questions they can ask you okay so those are really really kind of important questions i just made sure to put the ones that come up most commonly and um, in the next video we're going to cover two more questions 
uh, and then you'll pretty much be covered for every Z score question they can ask. But I'll cut it short here because it's uh, the video is getting quite long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it made sense. Uh, if it did, then like and subscribe, share it with friends. I uh, will see you next time where we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Z scores. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.